Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Today we'll be creating a team mod loader server on Ubuntu Linux. Now this is a follow up to my Terraria server video. So if you follow that along and you got Terraria working, this should be a piece of cake. First of all, we want to make sure we download the team mod loader server files. Now if we go to the GitHub page, we can see we've got a teammodloader.zip. I'll leave this uh, link in the description. It's the latest version, so we want to grab this one, copy link address, and simply type in wget, and then the URL for the download. This will download the quiet server resources. Once that downloaded, we can clear our screen here, and if we list our contents here, we can see we have tmodloader.zip. Now I'm going to make a new directory to hold our tmod loader server files by typing in mkdir and then we'll just go tmod loader. And if we list our directory again, we can see we have our tmod loader folder. I'm going to move the zip file into this new folder by typing in tmod loader.zip and then to tmod loader and we can see it's gone so if we see it into tmod loader we can see it's in there now we want to use unzip just like we used for Terraria and we want to unzip tmod loader once that's done we can clear our screen and if we list the contents of the file we can see we have a bunch of things in here what we're looking for is start server or start tmod loader server .sh. And what we want to do is make sure it's executable just like our regular Terraria server. We can do that by typing in ch mod 770 for read, write, and execute for user, read, write, and execute for group, and nothing else for everyone else. And we can type in start server or start tmod loader server.sh if we list our directory again we can see that it is now green and we can see it is executable for both the user and group now it's as simple as just starting the server so we can just go start tmod loader server.sh we don't want to use a steam server and this will just download some .NET files Once that's done, I'm just going to delete this world. We can create a new world by finding N. We'll do a small world. We'll go expert and we'll put in the world name and we'll leave the seat blank. Now that that's done, we can launch the world, the server, we can enter our max players, we can keep the default port. We don't want to port forward because we've already done that in our previous video. And we can put it in as well. Now that that's done, we can launch Team Mod Loader. I've gone ahead and launched Team Mod Loader here. And if we click on multiplayer, Join via IP. You can create a new uh, character or start a new one. And we can simply put in our public IP address. This will be the same one from the team uh, Terraria server. So I've already got this in here and we put in our password. We can see that I've successfully loaded into team mod loader. So I found the easiest way to get mods onto the server is to create a new mod pack so i've downloaded all the mods i want go to workshop here i've enabled all the mods i want i'll just enable magic storage for example i'll go back go back to workshop mod packs and we'll save enable as new mod pack and just put in a name for the mod pack so now if we open the mod pack folder 
you can see I have my mod pack here. Now all we want to do is copy this onto our server. So I'm going to compress this to a zip folder just to make it a little bit more small. Now I'm going to copy my path. I'm going to go back into my session here. I'm going to exit the server. I'm going to move back to my home directory. If we list all the contents, you can see we have a .local file here. So you want to go into .local. If we check in here, we have a share folder. So you want to go into share. And in here we have Terraria. So you want to go into Terraria. And underneath Terraria we have Tmod Loader. So if we go into Tmod Loader, you can see we have a mods folder. You want to go into our mods folder, and we can see it is currently empty. Now what we want to do, we want to copy that mod pack into this folder. Now there are a few ways to do this. I'm just going to use SCP, which is secure copy. So I'm going to open up a new terminal here. SCP, the source, this is the path of my uh, mod pack, and then we want to do the destination. So we're going to go to area, at, and then the local IP address. And we'll just put that into home directory by typing in colon and then a tilde. Now that's done. If we go back to our Terraria SSH session here, I'm just going to copy this URL of uh, this path. You can actually do pwd to find our working directory, so I'm going to copy that. I'm going to go back to our home. So now I'm back in the home directory, we can see that I have my test folder here, our mod pack. So what I'm going to do is unzip our test.zip. So our mod pack, and if we go into test, you can see we have mods. See it's mods. And we can see that we have these um this magic storage.tmod. And you'll also have a bunch of other mods if you included them. So I'm just going to move this into the mods folder. I'm going to move into the mods folder. Make sure it's in there. And it is. So I'm going to move back into my home directory. I'm going to go into Tmod Loader. I'm going to launch the server. I'll say no. And if we go to our mods menu by pressing M, we can see we have magic storage. We want to enable that by pressing one and then enter. And we can reload by pressing R and then enter. So if we launch the server, it should have magic storage enabled. And just to confirm that we have the mod enabled, I'm going to load in. And I'll just check that the guard has these recipes. And we can see, here we go, storage component. That is from the magic storage mod. So there you go. If you enjoyed this video, if you found it helpful, leave a like, comment, subscribe. If you didn't get this working, let me know. I might be able to help out. And thank you very much. I'll see you guys next time.